Hello. What y'all got going on today? Now, I don't celebrate the holidays. But if you do, happy holidays. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> and happy New Year's. Even though New the New Year's actually starts March 19th. 2022. Want to talk about this? And I'm gonna do a YouTube video um, and going more deep and be more um, so um, focused on speaking on the Megan the Stallion, the Make a Trans Karen Stallion case and uh, on how she accused. Tory Lanez of allegedly, allegedly shooting her in her manly jacked up feet. Okay. I'm just waiting for more information because there's a strong possibility that she uh, made a false allegation. She basically tried to give Tory Lane the Emmett Till treatment. And this is what we don't talk about. We don't talk about a hardcore. I know when it comes to these um, black Christians, y'all don't want to say nothing about these black Karens. Black K -K -K Karens, triple K. When I call K -K Karens, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all don't want to call them out. Y'all damn sure don't hold them accountable to enable them to be jacked up. You actually fail these women. You just you just give them victimhood. You just tell them what they want to hear, and they and you take their money. Other women do the same thing. They just talk amongst each other. You don't have a strong sisterhood, baby girl, baby girls. And I mean, I'm not talking about little girls. I'm talking about these women who need to grow the fuck up. And, and, and I'm saying it, it's a term. I wouldn't even call it in German. I'm just saying. Uh, sisters, you don't have no sisterhood. There's no black sisterhood. The only time I see a black sisterhood, if you got these black Carolyn Brian Dunham's, these black K -K -K Karens that nobody wants to call out, pushing this narrative that black men are, you basically you're helping these white feminazis, these racist, KFO, misandric, white feminist that y'all continue to support, especially. Um, the, the Caucasian female liberals, along with the Caucasian female conservatives, but the, but I would say it don't matter either way. Women are the same. It don't, it's like because these modern females, I can't call them. I can't call them women, even though you got people who say modern women. I can't call them women. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, the whole thing about Emmett Till, I'm not shocked that they're not going to do anything about it. But what's really disappointing with a lot of our um, melanated women, um, melanated females, these modern melanated women, is that they're no different than these white Karens, white K -K Karens, these white Beckys, you know what I'm saying, triple Ks. No. It doesn't matter. I mean, y'all no different. Y'all act the same. And I get in these, these uh, um, and there's no debate about this, is that, well, you know, black women, you know, don't get justice. Get the hell out of here. Get the get the French toast out of here. Y'all get, the, the court systems are on your side when you're going after a black man. It does, uh, and, and you, you want to just, put, you got these females, melanated females, and I did say something about Michi X about this on, in, in, in chat. I do no video chat, you know what I'm saying? It's funny how when I offer to, um, this is not about her, but just in general, not talking about, I mean, I don't, I mean, I actually like Michi X and some of the stuff she says. It's funny. I, thought, I mean, I do get, get entertaining, get entertained when she talks dirty and stuff, <laughs> but that's neither here or there. But when I'm seeing black women just talk about how vicious and horrible black men are, but you want protection from us. You want us to build a community, but we're the scum of the earth. How does that make us feel? Now, I'm not saying that we shouldn't build, but we can't build with modern females 
who operate on a feminist, uh, liberal mindset. You are nothing like the women of 60, 70, 100 years ago. You're nothing like the women of the past, like your grandmothers, your great grandmothers, and your great grandmothers, and your female, and, and your, and your, the, and the, the, the black queens of your ancestors. You're nothing like those women. You can say, in a nutshell, that men are not how they are. Um, I'm sorry. I disagree. Men are still held to a traditional standard but you, of what y'all call toxic masculinity. And this is racially across the board. Okay. Y'all talk about Emmett Till. Y'all talk about how black men are falsely accused, victims of false allegations, even victims. I mean, actually, a lot of times black men are victims of are the, big, are the largest group who are victims of and black men and boys. And let me say boys, victims of sex crimes by these females. Look how y'all didn't say you didn't cancel out Cardi B. I mean, look at your selective outrage, which I have a problem with. You got females like Cardi B. You got men getting, you know, you meet these women on these dating apps and then all of a sudden you meet this woman. That's why if a woman offers me her address. That's why I always Google it to see and drive around to see. And I actually have a con I like to have a conversation. And I definitely like to record myself walking up on her on doorstep. I tell people where I'm gonna be. So, because I don't care what y'all say, you got too many women who are too comfortable just accusing a male, a millionaire man of anything or doing harm to him for pleasure. You got women who are grimy. You got women who will show up at your doorstep, even trespass on your property, even go in your house and try to do or accuse you of something. And you have every right to kick her out, to, to evict, to give her the boot and throw her out of your property, out of your house and property. But you can't do that because you can't hit a woman. But uh, y'all talk about equality. Then tradition. No, we don't. Uh, oh, that's. <laughs> Oh, hey, what's up? Oh, oh, I, I, I'm not, tr you know, that's the old way. We like the new way. Which, well, make up your mind. Make up your mind. I mean, the whole thing, I mean, we don't, we, to me, well, it's this, this victimhood. Y'all like to talk about Karens, K K Karens, but what about these black Kiki Karens, these black female ho ass coon ghetto gag and Negro bedwinch divest that pro divest black Karens. What about them? Can somebody explain to me this? I mean, there's a possibility that Tory Lane got lied on, just like Brian Banks and other black men got lied on by our own women. By the, by the system. You got black men who are always railroaded by the system of everybody, especially from our women. But uh, I can't get the conscious community to speak on this. I can't get B1, B123 to speak on this. I can't get black folks to call out. Y'all have no problem calling out. Hey, what's up? <clears throat> I need y'all. I mean, welcome to the live stream. Uh, I am speaking about the possibility that making the stallion is a liar. I have an issue of women making false allegations against men and boys, but particularly specifically men, and nothing happens to these women. I have a problem with women abusing the system, paternity fraud, false claims of domestic violence. False grape claims. False SA claims. You know what that stands for? SA. A false claims of abuse. Hey, what's hey, y'all? What's up? I mean, y'all, it's like, so, so, and like, we talk, uh, like, I really can't speak on the case in Baltimore because they're censoring the video. But look how that brother lost it when he got lied on by all the women he was dealing with, by the women in the circle. Look how they threw him underneath the bus. But every time as a non-black woman, oh, y'all have no problem calling that out, which you should. 
However, if you're gonna, we gotta keep the same energy. Just like you, when you call out the Caucasian male or these non-black males, but for some reason you have no problem letting black men have it. And it's a small sector. That's a, it's, a, it's less than fifteen percent. It's less than fifteen percent of the males you're complaining about. But the major, I'm not saying the majority of the males, like the other um, twenty-five percent, are angels. Me, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, be y'all don't want to be fair. Y'all don't want to be fair. Women do not want equality. Guys do not believe women when they say they want equality. And do not believe them when they say they're traditional. There's nothing traditional about these modern day females. Okay? They don't even want you to be traditional as a man. Because you're going to get called toxic masculinity. But, oh. As long as I get what I... I'll cherry pick what I like about traditional men. But I want to move as a modern hell. What kind of stuff... And then how can you can't nation build with females like that? You're nothing like your grandmothers and, and great grandmothers and your and these um and your fem and your women ancestors, your lady ancestors, your female ancestors. You're nothing like the women of the past. You're nothing like the women of a hundred years, two hundred years. Y'all are a different breed. But men are still held to a a traditional standard, but we're called symbols of toxic masculinity and all types of negative stuff. But when women, men do the equality stuff or, you know, do like, you know, cry in public or something like that. Oh, y'all want to emasculate us and talk about we're weak and stuff. Men show emotion. Y'all want to just because you think men are robots. That's why I don't fuck with the manosphere like that. That's why I don't fuck with the red pill community like that, because you got a bunch of bitch ass simps. Talk about what manhood. Y'all don't know nothing about manhood. Y'all don't know nothing about how men in the past were. Y'all don't know. Y'all just read papers and stuff. Y'all don't do no do diligent real research. All y'all gotta do is talk to these older people like 80, 90 years old and they can tell you. Talk to all people, not just a few. Y'all just talk to the people in your family and you you just you just go off that You know what I'm saying? But y'all don't do no real historical research. The majority of y'all don't. Y'all think people, and y'all think the past was perfect. The past was trash too. The modern times are really crazy. The stuff that we dealing with, they were dealing with it back then. They just, they just didn't have smartphones, social media, and all these technologies, which are problematic, I would argue. I would state that's the thing. The fact of the matter is, and somebody, could, if y'all want to jump in the chat, you're welcome to. Because I'm sick of these. We talk about Emmett Till. We talk about black men being wrongfully convicted and exonerated and exonerate from sex crimes, violence. Black men realizing that the child that the child that he was um, paying child support for is not his. The victims of paternity fraud. The man who, or you know, or you with a woman and she lied to you to say that was your child. You find out that you've been met with her or you just been dating her and you realize that's not your biological child <sighs> but we can't talk about this in the pro-black sector we can't talk about we really we can't even talk about this in the b123 we can't even talk about this in the conscious community we can't talk about this if you're a black black christians or any black sector we i mean you just got the manosphere but the problem with the manosphere or black red pill. Now, I, I it's a small percentage of men who speak on those speak on what the stuff out this on the stuff that I speak on too. But the manosphere, you got a bunch of fake red pill beta male bitch ass sims talk about manhood. Don't know nothing about being a man. They think manhood is, ba is but they talk about they they just want to assimilate and just follow behind the Caucasian. Try to live like wild wow, folk. Try to be like the Caucasian male. Thinking, <coughs> talking about, you know, if we get passports or we just date out and, 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 and go overseas, which I, I don't have a problem with. But my thing is, don't be delusional and give people false hopes. Don't be like misleading people. Don't say I, I, I'm for just dating foreign women. And a lot of y'all ain't dealt with foreign women like that. Unless they come to the country, which is a, 
And some of these foreign women are very Americanized. Even if you go overseas, still exhibit the same jacked up, toxic, feminazi behavior. Okay? I'm saying this, oh, if you want to, if you want to divest, hop the fence, swirl, um, get your passport and, 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 and date women overseas, go overseas and date with, well, guess what? Stay over there. Don't bring her back and don't come back. Because when you do that, you're going to be sorry. A lot of these women are very clever. I just watched um, Danica Marie and um, Chantel Simone and they collabed. And, Chant- and Chantel Simone is Caribbean black. She's a foreigner, you know, or she's first generation black immigrant. And she, I think she's Jamaican because I can tell by the accent because I got Jamaican, I'm part Jamaican. So I can t- pick up on it. Even though when I talk to those Jamaican sisters, like, you don't use, you're very American. You don't have no accent. And I, I, I don't believe you. But when I start t- like, talking about um, the terminology, even though I can't, you know, talk like them in their thick accent. Oh, oh, okay. <clears throat> you know, and it's like, I'm seeing these women. I just watched um, JD Black, and, and I'm seeing women twerk. Uh, it's like, these women talking about, oh, we're afraid winter's here. Y'all keep talking about winter's here. No, we're about summer. We're about spring, especially the summertime. Where you see these women just be naked in public. And then when something, that's when shit real, get, that's when shit gets really real in the hot, in the summertime. Crime and all this other crazy stuff, people acting a fool. But the reason why they tell women they should be afraid at night, women are not afraid of us like that. No, because if they were, they, the type of males that they date tells you that they don't fear men. The same type of dude who's always violent, can't stay out of jail, very abusive, very toxic. Because she's toxic herself. She's drawn to that. But it's never her fault. You having kids by dudes who don't are irresponsible, but you're irresponsible yourself. How are you going to talk about men don't take care of their responsibilities when you're not willing to do the same thing? You're, with, you're relying on family, government. Then you want to talk about you're independent. No, you're not. Sit your ass down. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. A lot of y'all are single mothers by choice. A lot of y'all break, wreck your homes out of selfishness. Oh, he's not exciting. Oh, oh, he don't know how to blow my back out. Shower ass stuff. You mean to tell me that you got married on the premise of that he will look good? That's all it takes. He got to look good. He got to be tall, dark, but he got to be light skinned. And he got to have a mouthpiece. It's very shallow in our community, and I'm not just Western society. He gotta have money, but he gotta but, but he gotta have this. He gotta have substance. Why don't you focus on the substance first? Focus on what's real first. Then you got these women preference policing. If a man wants to date a woman who's young and fertile, but she's at least she's um you know of adult age, like you know not. I was, no, I'm talking about over the age, over the drinking age. Let them be. You were, you were dating those old ass dudes too. And some of y'all were messing with, and the way I see it, a lot of you females be messing with these young guys behind the damn scenes, especially if you're a teacher or a social worker, counselor, foster parent, you name it. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? I don't like young dudes, but as long as they're in shape, as long as they tall, got muscles, I'm a pretty tall guy myself. You know, I don't like a guy who's fat, but I'm but I'm 500 pounds. A fat man can still get the job done, still be more viable, do more stuff than a woman. A fat woman can. I'm sorry, I'm just being real. An overweight woman can't do nothing. A fat man, even though he fat, he still got to be productive. He's still productive, okay? Even a man who's dusty. There's nothing worse than dealing with a woman who's just dusty and lazy and delusional and self-entitled. And she a goddamn bedwin. She, she a goddamn coon. You know what I'm saying? She don't. She is anti-man. She hates patriarchy but wants all the benefits of patriarchy. Wants to be matriarchal, be in charge, but when stuff goes bad, it's the men's fault. 
wait a minute, you in charge, lady. That's you. That's your fault. No. You see what I'm saying? But I mean, the, and the thing is, it's just the delusion of these toxic heifers. <laughs> Y'all get mad at Kevin Samuels. You, I mean, these women keep going on to these, the Kevin Samuels live streams. They keep arguing with him. You ever, you ever seen these men? It's like even before, way before black men vent. Black men vent. I would say black men vent actually started. You know, all the stuff that we've been talking about started with black men vent, but they don't get no credit because they were the pioneers of the black manosphere and red pill content of the black red pill of the black red pill community. Wanna I wanna get this off my chest. Rest in power, David Carroll. I seen some of your videos, and you know, and the thing is, and you know, I didn't listen, I think I was never a full time I was never a subscriber. I watched his videos here and there because to me I was like talking the same thing. And I wasn't like, you know, I did support what he said and all that stuff. And not everything. But to me, I was so busy. I really didn't have time to just, you know, just be a watcher, watch his videos. Because he was just saying the same thing I was saying. He's just older. You got melanated women talking about he deserves to die. Just like they did with Kobe Bryant. Then I, when I, I said, then, then I got these half and saw, well, you know, we, you know, there's women. No, I'm talking about the women. Who, I ain't talking about the ones, like I said, I ain't talking about the ones who actually jumped out, which is a few. I'm talking about the majority who talk about he, he deserved, Kobe, when Kobe Bryant died in a helicopter crash with his daughter and other people. I'm talking about the women who talk about he deserves to die because he didn't marry a melanated woman. When a lot of melanated women did not want to date him. He was, he didn't have, even though he was well, even though he came from an affluent background, he was stuck. He was um, lame, boring. He talked like he white. He has no swag. The minute he gets an NBA contract, all of a sudden these women want to show up. Even these old assholes want to show up and talk about, talk about, then they want to tell him what he should date. No, when a man builds himself up, I don't get agree with Kevin Sams when he says, well, a man has to be 30 to be a high value man. I don't believe in a high value. I think that thing is bullshit. To me, a high value man is somebody of character. You're speaking of somebody of intelligence, um, problem solving. You're talking about a man who's self-made. Money doesn't make the man. Man made the money. So I don't agree with a lot of those points. Welcome to the live stream. Anybody want to join in on the chat? Want to chat with me? I'm speaking about these black Karens. And that's triple K. Because nobody calls them out. You don't, you, you know those pro wax ain't going to say nothing. <laughs> those pro wax are not going to call, call, they're not going to call out these black female Karens who is, these women are talking about street harassment. How can you say black men are sexual predators and harassers? Then talk about how. Then you want to talk about how white women falsely accuse black men of sexual of sex crimes and violence and aggression. This is what I understand about melanated women. Actually, I do understand. You want to talk about how black men are harassing you in public and all this other stuff, which is not true. Actually, it's the other way around. See, the problem is, is that they think a man who approaches them. I just say how you're doing. They think that's what he wants. But lady, you carry yourself as a fox. You conduct yourself as a fox. All I gotta do is look at your Instagram, your TikTok, your YouTube, your 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 Snapchat, and you talk about you should respect me, Sit, girl. If you do not shit, you need you need to shut up. <laughs> Don't be talking about. Men being thirsty, broke, and dusty, but you still do, you still deal with these bone fucking harmony Tupac bitch ass niggas. Those thugged out Tupac, bone thugs in harmony, hardcore gangster rap niggas like snooping them. <laughs> Shit, y'all. It's like these women are obsessed over athletes that they'll never meet, but they're talking about street harm street harassment. But but when you see Denzel, LeBron James, and um, Stephen Curry, you see these women be harassing these guys. You, these guys got to keep telling these women, "No, we're married, or we, we, I'm with someone. I'm I'm playing the field." But see, they they harass the 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 the, um, the small percentage of men, the ten percent. In our community, you got thugs, broke, dusty, bad boy type of niggas. 
And then you got the well-to-do affluent men. Then you got the black man celebrities of entertainers and athletes. In other communities, that's not the case. It's mostly hardworking. Uh, I went to law school. Men who went to law school went to business, stem cells, scientists, engineers. They, those women check for those guys. You know what I'm saying? You know, or, or the guy who's just doing, making over at least like $60,000 a year or something like that. In, their, in other communities, that's how it is. No, these women want to, they will glamorize. They don't, I mean, even though I know a lot of these non-black chicks, these non-black chicks will be dating um, the biker boys, the bad boys, the meth heads, Rico and Dusty Chin, <laughs> working at that dirty Chinese restaurant, killing stuff, killing Road kit taking road kill and frying it, <laughs> stir frying it, you know what I'm saying? Jose. But the thing is about this, these women live who, who they talk about they got a degree, but they got uh, how can you talk about you make a thirty, forty thousand dollar a year job? You're not even some of them, some of them a lot of them are not really working them eighty hour weeks. Fifty to eight hour weeks like that. That's a few. Okay. But you got men. Who work 60 hours, 80 hours. You got men, you know, may not, they may, I mean, I mean, me personally, you know, you got men who really can't work just due to, I have other streams of income. I ain't working no 80 hours and 40 hours and a, and a, and a chick is going to be disrespectful to me. It's hard out here being a man trying to provide for himself and everybody else. I mean, this, uh, and the thing is about that, if you're on disability and stuff like that, you deal with issues like that. Oh, it's a problem, but I got stuff. I, stuff, I, stuff, I got more going on than you. If I don't work a long, if I don't work long hours, so I got, I got a slave, but you want to just be taking out wine and dine and stuff. And I got women talking about we got to work three or four jobs. I'm like, lady. First of all, that's a choice. You had kids from multiple dudes. And then, first of all, you know, you knew this man was ain't about nothing. You focus on a, on that 15 percent. Why don't you just get with the guys on your level, on his level, to be honest with you? Why? Oh, but you want a guy who's making six figures. When you become when you, and then you get in with a dude who can't do nothing but throw, but lay the pipe down. He he has drama. He he he's the biggest um hoe in the community, biggest hoe, biggest fuck hoe, beta male. But you giving them all but you make the guy who's in school, the guy who has to build himself up, he we gotta work for our stuff. We gotta work to talk to you. Unless we're unless you're a Chad, unless you're a Brad. Oh, if you're non black and you broke, oh you know how I many broke ass white males I see with black women? Well, Black women making over seventy thousand dollars a year, six figures. They have no problem dating these dusty, nasty, take a bath once a month, chads and brads. These Caucasian males, these Ricos and chins in them. You ever seen them? You, you, you and, and these guys are unattractive as hell, dusty. But you know the divestment committee is okay with that. The divestors, oh, they love that. But these white males be disrespectful to them. Talk to them all crazy and stuff. You can't even defend them because they're not going to... Because if you do something, they're not going to post your bail. Even though you provide a protection. This is why you can't protect women you don't know like that. Because when stuff happens, she's not going to pay your medical bills. She's not going to pay your legal fees. She's not going to get you an attorney. You know what I'm saying? She's not going to protect you. She's not going to thank you. So why protect her? And the only thing she would say, oh, I'll give you SEX. Girl, if you don't, nah. That ain't enough. But that's the problem with a lot of you men. A lot of men out here, you needed a man more than just her having TNA and, give, get, you know, knowing how to suck the lollipop and, you know, giving you sex. She don't, you're not even, she's not even giving you sex. You have to put in the work. These women are so lazy when it comes to relationships and dating. And it's so funny because even they're more, they're lazy on the job. You got some of them who are not. They will put the work in for Zaddy. Don't they, when it comes to working hard, they'll work hard for Zaddy. The Zaddy boss, the Zaddy business owner who runs the company, the Zaddy, 
Zaddy and Becky and Karen. They'll work for Zaddy and Ted, Chad, and, uh, and, and them. But when it comes to a brother, I ain't got to do nothing. You should just like me for me. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. You got men, black men, being disrespected in public. By our own women. Want a mean bug. Talk nasty. You can't. You don't even have to say anything or be in the presence. They want to start some confrontation. If she's struggling with something, about to hurt herself, she want to give you an attitude. Or you just you just be cordial or something like that. You're not trying to do nothing out of pocket. It's just I mean, she wants to disrespect you. But you check on her disrespect. You're violent. You're a predator and all this stuff. So she will use the 911 and try to give you the Emmett Till treatment. She's no, she, you got a lot of these black Carolyn Bryant Dunhams who Emmett Till their black men every day. These male native women who just want to Emmett Till lynch black men, just hang lynch black men. Look how a lot of these women, these male native women went after black men with, the, with their enemy, with their female enemy. <laughs> it was so funny. All these Caucasian males were being accused. All these cave males were being accused by these cave hoes. All of a sudden, these cave males got on code and laid the law down. It's so funny. When it comes to brotherhood, those Caucasian males know how to unify. I wish black men knew how to do that. Other races of men know how to unify, and they talk about power. Well, guess the thing. The thing is, the majority of our women in Western society do not want black men in positions of power. They don't want a strong brotherhood because if we are, are, are united like that, that means... Um, the Pookies and Ray Rays have to work alongside with us. They don't want men like me and you, who are like me, to be in power because that means they can't be stupid out here. That means they will have to get a husband. They can't be no baby mama. They can't, oh, can't use the, misuse the system. Because you got a lot of these male and many of these male women who will misuse the system against their own male counterparts. So they say they, say they love black men. They don't believe in no black love. These women talk about, the first thing they talk about is getting the back. If that's the first thing you focus on, getting the bag. Now, if you're so educated, the most educated, even though they're not, they're the most enrolled, why would you focus on another man's resources? You're not going to share those resources with that guy. You won't. You're not even going to share it with your own children. You just want to be selfish and take care of your, your dusty um, ho ass degenerate nigga Tyrone Pookie Ray Ray. That's what you want to. That's what you will spend your money, mostly my money, on him when it comes to having these affairs. These women be cheating, but they have an excuse. It's, everything is always an excuse. You got women who feel they can slap a man in public. They don't know. Be disrespectful, but but expect no consequences. We're not supposed to retaliate. You're not, we're not supposed to cuss you out when you're disrespectful. I, I remember on Twitter, this female was talking to this melanated female was talking to this man. And I don't know who approached who first, but you know, she was enjoying it. But the minute he, he saw, so he thought, you know, she was like, you know, was into him because she entertained him. Guess what? She said I'm gonna call him, but he was a dusty, try to roast him, talk about he was a he like, like what are you doing? Oh, you're harassing me. That was a setup. A lot of times these women be setting these guys up. But they want to talk about white Karens. You want to talk about the white female? You look like the white female. Why do you have to why do you wear weaves try to look like her? Why is it that you want to be like her when they every time you call her out on her BS, white women do it too? Wait a minute, wait a minute. I, but you say they want to be like you. These the majority of these non-black women do not want to be like you. They want to may take your parts. I don't even think that's the case anymore. I don't think that's the case anymore that these non-black women want to be like them. I don't see too many um, Caucasian women and non-black women trying to um, wear black Afro weaves. Now, here's the thing. If that does happen, or the, or the sister locks, or they try to kink up their hair, oh, cultural appropriation. Like, how dare you? You try to look like us. You're always trying to, but, but why are you trying to look like the Caucasian female? 
You're not doing it for black men. You're doing it trying to get acceptance. But we saying we don't like that. And then she says, well, all y'all go for white women. Um, no, stop. Stop the cap. Because if that's the case, then how are you going to do it? Because all these black babies being born, you say it's the black man. That you're choosing not to marry. And you're, you're choosing not to be his wife. You're choosing to be single. You don't want to be under a man's authority. Even if the man got his stuff together, you don't want to be under his authority. Look at look at these women who just want to just wreck their own homes. Talk about, I'm not happy because of all this crap you see on TV. Cherry McMillan, Ava DuVernay, Oprah, Gail and them are responsible. Just like all these uh, Regina Kings and Regina Halls, all these uh, mammies are responsible for why our community is the way it is with their influence. These women could have started stuff for black women, promote black positive, black women positive. Look how look at Lizzo. Why is it that you're promoting the negative images of black women and playing into stereotypes? Why don't you use your platform and your position to um, promote black women being feminine, ladylike, classy, and the African perspective? No, they don't want to do that. No, you want to be a side chick. You want to be the, the total opposite. All this rebelling. All this feminism. All this effeminate, feminizing the black man, destroying the black man's image, talking about he's this and that. During during mixed company talking too much, during mixed company talking too much, and the thing is they don't talk about the stuff that that there is and ain't doing. Their talk, their excuse was because a few black men are not doing this when the majority of black men are educated in the upper middle class, single and childless. They don't talk about that, and I agree with Samuels because he's actually on point on what he's saying. The the, the data actually supports that. More black men marry out, marry within the community, and guess what? And, and and due to these dysfunctional females, many of them marry out because they don't want to deal with it, or marry foreign sisters, or foreign women in general. They don't even have to be making six figures. Shoot, <laughs> I. But their excuse, oh, I mean, they're not checking for us. You are fifty years old, ma'am. I ain't saying no 50. There's some, there's some women in their 50 who are good now. But come on. You keep thinking, you're not the prize. You're not the it girl. Now, if you want to do something for 50 plus year old women and you want to have a beauty contest, that's fine. But you're not the it girl. Come on now. You got to get, you pass on the. It's so sad that many of these older women do not want to teach their daughters to do better or put them in a better path. No, they want to compete. They want to compete. For the men in their age and even the men, their daughter's age. And the only reason why they get these guys who are their daughter's age because they want to get their, they want to get their itch scratch. He ready to go. They don't have, he, 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 he got all this energy to match hers. <laughs> their sex, these, their sex, I'm telling you from older women, many women who are older, I mean mature, like, you know, 40 plus 50. They got they got some high strong sex drives. They wow. <laughs> I, and I had some I had an older lady said you know that's because you know we have all that energy that we you know we're not getting it often. But I'm like wait a minute you're married though you were married but you mean to tell me you ain't you didn't get you didn't get your itch scratch from your husband. <laughs> I mean sexless marriages what what is going on here? What is going on, people? What is going on? And I'm going to discuss this, you know, love. You got these people talking about relationships, talk about, you know, in the past, it was not about love. They married for for wealth and all this. These people don't know what they're talking about. That's a different video for a different... I'm going to do that on YouTube because I'm sick of these... Um, um, when it comes to relationships, these people talk about relationship topics, talk about how people in the past married for finances, generational wealth, resources, all this other bullshit. If that's the case, then why is the black community still broke? Black black folks didn't have money like that back then, but they had their own businesses and stuff. So what are y'all talking about? You're talking about those elite. Majority of people are not making, are not millionaires like that. When I hear these people talk about pass on generational wealth and all this other stuff like that, they're not millionaires. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you guys talking about? They married much younger women and all this other bullshit. Come on now. 
that's not always the case because <laughs> I don't understand because most people um that you can't say a lot of older men married younger women like that's not the the numbers don't even support that there's a ten years within a five year gap you know it's with it's like the ten it's within a ten year gap between marriages. No, and, and and even when it comes to women, even when it comes to having relations, it's still within the it's within a ten year age range. Even if the woman's older, ten year age range when she want to have her get her freak on. So a lot of these people, I don't understand. They don't. I don't. Like, I don't understand them. I don't understand what y'all, what y'all saying is because most people in the in the thirties, forties, and fifties married a high their they married their high school sweethearts, college sweethearts, and they were around the same age range. What y'all talking same age group? What y'all talking about? You know, it's a, it's like I don't know what y'all I don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all don't even know nothing about the forties and fifties. I, I don't <laughs> You, unless you're going by what you've been told, I don't. I don't think a lot of people even have talks with them like that. Some of these people, even those people who are in their eighties and nineties, I even try to have conversations. But you have a lot of people in the forties and fifties ain't never been nowhere, never traveled outside their city. <clears throat> Some of them never even traveled outside the country. You have to get with somebody who's older, who's actually well traveled in life to, uh, to have a well balanced understanding. And unfortunately, and then, you know, the thing is, you have to, it's going to have to be a man. You can't ask no grandma about nothing because she could be in her feelings and talk about, I pray to Jesus. I don't talk to my, my grandma. I don't mean talking to my, my ADOS grandma because she's on some Jesus. I, I, I mean, unfortunately, uh, my, my dad's grandparents, my grandparents on my dad's side, they all, they passed away. So. I didn't get to have the opportunity to get get more all that knowledge. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like these people, but the, the, these things that what kills me is that black women talk about how Cosby got falsely accused. They talk about the black man innocent projects, but a lot of these black females help the white feminists and these non-black these racist folks get get black men indicted, wrongfully arrested, and wrongfully imprisoned. But you can't have those conversations in the in the conscious community, on um, the black sector. You can't you really can't have that conversation in the pro black sector. You can't have it in the conscious community. You can't have that with the black Christians. You can't have those black folks even in general. I mean, you can't. Be, and there's not a lot of red black. Red, there's not a lot of black men who are red pill minded anyway. I'm talking about real red pill. I'm talking about the red pill energy, the red pill mindset. Like me, I'm not talking about these fake um, purple rage, um, black pill rage males who call themselves red pill when they're not. I'm not talking about them. So there's a pretty good chance when when I get more information on the Tory Lane making the stallion case because she's lying about she got shot in her foot. How can you get shot in your foot and, and be twerking the next day? Dancing and walking around like it's nothing. I had for now. Here's the thing: there's people I know, there's people I, 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 I mean, there's people. Even when I've done my own research, people who get foot injuries, they don't be doing that. Especially when you get shot in the foot, you are out. You have to walk on a cane. You have to be in crutches. You're gonna have to be bed rest. I mean, give you an example. I don't even. People who have foot injuries like plantar fasciitis, I can tell you, I can't be no, I can't do no twerking. And people who have foot injuries, like and ankle injuries, leg injuries, I'll give you an example like Paul George. Remember that whole horrific injury? Look at um 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 Sean Livingston, NBA players. You know, you know those athletes who got them serious foot injuries. Did you know they couldn't move and walk nowhere without no assistance for almost a year? So if you got shot in the foot and both feet at that, well, how in the, in the French toast are you walking around, you're dancing and twerking, and you're giving interviews, and you're lying on the brother? But... 
Um, so y'all talk about, you talk about the innocent projects, but a lot of these black women put black men in prison, more so than the Caucasian female. And a lot of these black females are a bunch of race traders. They have, they have sold, they've been selling out um, since integration in the feminist movement, welfare system, child support, no fault, divorce, alimony systems was in place. All these um, social programs for these heifers that destroyed, that keep her, that, 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 that they're set up so you could, so she doesn't have to be a cooperative woman. To that husband, getting the bag and all this other bullshit, all this sexual whole shit, this liberation crap. So, but it's the black man's fault. Well, the black man, well, here's the thing. <laughs> How is it the black man's fault when you went against the black man? When the black man, you had black men saying, hey, don't trust that, don't trust that, that Caucasian female, don't trust that white, don't trust you, don't trust that zaddy, and you do it anyway. So, how's that our fault? Well, if we were in power, well, actually, we were, but we were, we were in power. We had our own businesses and stuff. And since women are the majority of the spenders and keep the economy going, and they spend the spend up the man's money in their in their in their own money at their work, uh, how come you didn't support those businesses owned by black men? See, that's why I'm, that's why that's why that's why. And this is why I don't. This is why, and you wonder why there's a manosphere. This is why you have to. This is why you had black men vent. This is why you have men going their own way. This is why you have truck black. You have men talk about go overseas. This is why you have red pill. The red pill community. Um, these red pill content creators, good and bad. And this is why you have the manosphere. The, the, the manosphere. This is because. It's so bad. And then you wonder why you got Kevin Samuels. <laughs> then you wonder you wonder why you got guys like Kevin Samuels going in on them. These women keep calling into the show. You talk about how horrible he is and how, how much of a horrible human being he is, even though he always, he always went at black men. He was very critical of black men. But they don't talk about that. They never talk about that. They really don't talk about that because they don't care about the majority of them don't care about brothers, and if you're a black, if you're a black woman, and you're listening to my, and you're listening to this, you're watching this. If you're not like that, I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about them. My thing is, and if you're, if my thing, I got a question. How come if you are, how can you not call? If you know these women are like that, I understand it's hard. You're outnumbered. But my thing is, if you're not holding them account, you if you have no problem holding a man accountable, then how come you won't hold um, these women accountable who you know who are living foul? Remember Martin Lawrence, how they said sisters are living foul? Well, if these sisters are living foul, how come you're not checking them? You have no problem checking the men. A lot of y'all don't have no problem holding men accountable. But when it comes to women, the sisterhood, uh, these other women, you don't say nothing. Are you too chicken to say something? Because you that type of heifer I'm talking about. The one who's complicit. The one who don't go on and get on with the sisterhood. You think that you have the same mindset as them. You try to you just try to be a comedian like April Mason. <laughs> That's why that is. It's just, it's like, and then you talk about nation building. There's no way in God's green earth that you can nation build with modern females like this. The way modern females are, you can't nation build nothing. Revolution. You can't work with them. They they're not gonna they're not gonna play their position. They're not gonna talk about they're gonna be in the front lines. Okay, when the bombs stop dropping, you're gonna you're gonna be running away. You're not gonna be following behind us. You're gonna be running in the opposite direction, probably joining the enemy. Am I lying? If you if if I'm lying or I'm telling it, if here's the thing, if I'm telling the truth, you comment. And, and say and put 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 in truth, put in true, T R U E, or truth. Just comment the truth. I'm telling the truth. Am I lying? I'm saying if I'm saying something different, you could just put two. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good night.